So as we arrived at the dive site, this beautiful fish eagle came off its perch and plucked a cichlid right out of the water in front of us. So we headed down to find the mother Serenochromis, which we had spotted a few days ago. On the way, we came across these huge but beautiful bowers. These are essentially the breeding arenas for some of the largest cichlid species in the lake. I did note, however, that there was an absence of adult fish around, but that they are well maintained and therefore must still be in use. And finally we came across the area in which I thought she may be. She was hanging by the flat ledge in the back of picture, and as I approached I saw all the fry milling about the edge of the nursery. The cautious mother was keeping a wary lookout. At this point the fry moved behind the rock to put the rock between themselves and myself. And the mother moves in and opens her mouth to allow them into the safety of this cavity. These fry are in the last week of the month-long maternal period where they are able to enter the mother's mouth. After this they will become too large and they must move out and fend for themselves. It is expected that only two fry of this clutch will actually make it to adulthood. And with a mouthful of fry she still chases off other predatory cichlids which are threatening her fry. And finally with the very last one in the safety of her mouth she heads off into the safety of the depths. I was very pleased to be able to relocate this mother Serenochromis and once again witness this amazing maternal adaptation.